just come to number seven of the eight brocades quick on sequence um, penultimate one this one's called puncture of angry eyes to increase strength um, nice simple one really it's like a sort of carter move here front punch um, and back two moves nice easy one you can go in as deep as you like this one benefits the liver on the right there linked with anger that's your emotion linked to that organ um, and it's just helping balance out inappropriate anger um, not necessarily getting rid of it because you wouldn't it's not necessarily a bad emotion you would need that in certain situations defense etc or competition or whatever but again it's help balancing that out um, and helping that appropriate balance of that emotion within that organ as all these emotions affect organs so I'm going to go back and demonstrate that. As with all these, you can go in as deep as you like. Um, go in as deep as you like. I would say, again, you can go in, I'm going to go back and demonstrate this. You can go in feet hip width apart, down as low as knees and on the toes. If you've got any problems with the knees, then that's what I suggest there. If that even gives you grief, then don't go there. It could be a mini squat, a millimeter, a centimeter, or a foot. Again, go in as deep as you like, uh, knees and line with toes, then tailbone deep, only as low as you keep your knees and line with toes. I'd say keep your feet sort of, not rigidly to the front, but sort of evenly to the front, nice and even, not Charlie Chaplin. Um, again, you, you could adapt these to your body. If you have no problems with that, then go there beyond knees and line with toes, then fine. Knees and line with toes, then if you want to go deeper, tailbone deep, only as low as you keep the knees and on the toes. Um, exploit the range, speed and tempo. Match it to your breath, okay? Not necessarily my breath. That's how you get on. Again, get it in the head and then go and do this on your own, okay? And it doesn't necessarily have to match to my breath. So again, I'm digressing there. I'm gonna go back again. You can come back here. Again, supinate, supinated hands, tension out the shoulders, lengthen up through the crown, breathe in the belly like a balloon, and exhale through pursed lips. You want to start with a breathing, you can do. I would suggest that before you start, then go in. Again, breathe into the belly like a balloon, nice meditative breath, and then you're going to go in. So again, you're exhaling, pronating the fist, keeping the tension up the shoulders and breathing in coming back. If you're doing any sort of other martial art, you might be tempted to turn the shoulders. Again, it would kill you if you did. But again, with this one, you're aiming to sort of keep central, okay? And just keep solid through the midsection there. Lengthen the crown away from the tailbone. And you go, exhale down, breathing coming up. Again, if you felt comfortable, you could even take the feet out to horse riding stance and if you wanted to take them feet out to the side you could depends how sort of you feel on that okay again still same deal only as low to keep your knees in line with toes or less just before that but knees are central towards the foot not sort of coming here again you might be able to get away with that you've got any trouble with knees i won't go there exhaling down breathing coming up Again, it could be this much, exhaling here, breathing, coming up, shorter stance, or this stance, going deeper, or deeper still. See what feels comfortable to you. Keep the tension out the shoulders. It's a... Lengthen up for the crown, exhale. Breathing coming up. Steady the gaze at a spot on the wall and exhale. Breathing coming up. Lengthen up for the crown. Even imagine the vertebras lengthening. Okay, space between the vertebras. Crowns come away from the torso. Breathing coming up. Exhaling down, we're simply breathing with the spine, that lovely primal pattern of the body. 
exhaling, breathing coming up. Again, if that gets too much in the knees, midway, you can just bring that stance back in slightly wider than hip width apart, and then coming down here and breathing in coming up. Exhaling down, breathing in coming up. Enjoy that length as you come up. It's always good to lengthen up against gravity. Spend a lot of time bearing gravity and fighting up against it. So anything that helps us lengthen up against gravity. Exhaling down, breathing in coming up. Again, your breath might be slower than that. I was sort of doing the breath so you could hear it a little bit, but it can be a lot smoother than that. Maybe overemphasizing the breath there. Um, but yeah, just fine, just adapt it to your body. Again, be aware after, you know, it might sort of niggle different areas, then just modify the modifications to give there. Great one as well. Helps the, any squat motion will help the rectus spinae, which is the one that helps us fight up against gravity. So for posture, that's great. Breathe in the belly like a balloon, then exhale, let go. Um, and again, just work with your breath, match it to your breath, the cadence and the rhythm of your breath. Okay, so again, number seven coming up. Shake the back seven times to eliminate the 100 illnesses. That's a seventh. Lovely. So that was number, sorry, that was the eighth coming up. That was the number seven. <laughs> yeah, so that was number seven. The last one coming up is shake the back seven times to eliminate the hundred illnesses. Lovely. Bang.